Welcome! In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a very simple Sparkle Motion script using Top Rate Composer Maestro Edition. I have created an empty file and in order to use Sparkle Motion we first need to import the Sparkle Motion module library which is part of the standard download of Top Rate Composer. So we can take the Sparkle Motion lib file, drag it into the imports and after we have done that we are able to create a Sparkle Motion script using the corresponding menu item. In this case we want to create a very simple script that loads data from a newsfeed and then uh, creates a spreadsheet out of the newsfeed and writes the uh, spreadsheet into a file. So we are selecting as a starting point the import newsfeed module from Sparkle Motion library and create an instance of it. After we have done that we are uh, taken to the graph editor and in this graph editor we can configure uh, the various properties of, of each of the steps in our script. So in this case uh, since we have uh, an import newsfeed module when we double click on the module we have to specify the URL of the, U of the, the newsfeed that we want to load in this case we are loading a New York Times business section newsfeed containing today's business news and after I've done that I'm already able to execute this script I mean so far it hardly doesn't do anything it just loads the newsfeed and when I press the debug button you can see in, th in the console down here that uh, the script has been executed and as a result of that we can see the triples, the RDF triples that have been loaded from the remote source. And we can browse this uh, data to see what is in the news feed here. And uh, you can see we have uh, a couple of items. We have uh, publication dates for, for each of the, the, the news items. And we also have a uh, title. So now we want to create a spreadsheet. We want to extract the, the news into some other form. And uh, for that purpose we uh, select one of the processing modules here. In this case we select a text processing module. For creating a spreadsheet we uh, drag this into the graph. Give it some name and then we connect this with the, the newsfeed loading module using the add connection uh, feature. So this now basically means that uh, after the newsfeed has been loaded all its content should be sent to the next module in the pipeline. Here I this is the uh, spreadsheet module and we need to configure how the spreadsheet should be populated and in this case the spreadsheet is uh, specified by uh, entering a Sparkle query. So we, we select which uh, columns we want to have in the spreadsheet. We want to show uh, the date and uh, the title. And then we enter the condition um, where to get the data from. So from all the news items we want to get the RSS publication date and put it into the date variable and then we also want to get the RSS title and put it into the title. And once we have done that we can execute the script up to this point using the debug button. And you can see the output actually down here. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So this is now showing uh, our resulting spreadsheet. Uh, and the spreadsheet has been uh, assigned to a variable, to the output variable called text, which is of type string. And we can now either view this data here on the screen or we can further process this text. Yeah. We can, for example, send uh, the text uh, to a text file. And in order to, to do so, we uh, create an instance of the export to text file module, which we drag into the graph. And let's connect this with the spreadsheet module so that the, the output of the create spreadsheet module, which
which is now uh, the text variable, plus everything that comes from here, it will be now sent to the export to text file module. So I can double click on, on this module to specify the name of the file. Let's call it output text. And we want to override any existing files with the same name. OK. Then we can execute this to this level. And we should see our spreadsheet.